hours, Derek Chauvin's case is in court once again. He's appealing his conviction for murdering George Floyd. Jen is outside the courthouse this morning in St. Paul with details. Hey, Jen. Yeah, hi, Alicia. 930 this morning is when this hearing is set to begin. Right now, Derek Chauvin is serving 22 and a half years in prison for murdering George Floyd. It was just about two years ago, coming up on two years ago, that a jury convicted Chauvin in state court of that murder charge, among some other charges as well. Now Chauvin's asking the Minnesota Court of Appeals to toss his conviction. Chauvin's attorney argued in his brief to the Court of Appeals that pretrial publicity impacted this case and it should have been moved somewhere else with the jury sequestered for the entire time. The attorney also argued that evidence that was favorable to Chauvin was excluded. Prosecutors, though, they've said that Chauvin's trial was fair and there would have been publicity surrounding it no matter where it was held. So here's the thing. Chauvin also has a federal conviction. He pleaded guilty, you might remember, to violating George Floyd's civil rights. He's serving 21 years in prison for that federal conviction, along with this state prison term. He's serving them concurrently. The deal, though, with the federal conviction, as part of his plea, he waived his right to appeal that. So no matter what the Minnesota Court of Appeals decides on this state conviction, Derek Chauvin will stay in prison no matter what because of that federal term that he's serving. So why appeal at all? Well, the Associated Press this morning is reporting that uh, this case does set a precedent here in Minnesota for future cases involving police officers. All right, Jennifer Austin reporting live. Thanks for breaking it down for us this morning. Six